Today I'd like to show you how to configure the 400G Wireshark Frame Capture Test on the MT1040A Network Master Pro. Currently, Ethernet technology is the most popular for providing high-speed and uninterrupted telecommunications. To ensure the correct operation of Ethernet links, it is necessary to test such communication channels. One way to detect and analyze errors that occur is to capture Ethernet frames directly on the analyzer and analyze them using Wireshark. So let's get down to setting up the 400G Wireshark frame capture test on the MT1040A. After starting the instrument, we get to the main menu with all available applications. This menu may vary depending on the options installed. In the Ethernet line, click on the bird up and select the ports that you are going to test. After loading the application, we get into the setup window in which we need to configure the physical interfaces. First, in the port tab, select the interface tab from the drop-down list. Confirm the changes made. The interface is configured and launched. Here, we can see at what wavelength the selected transceiver works and what standard it meets. Then, in the Streams tab, we should configure the corresponding Macs and IPs. You can use the default Mac and ARP request, as well as DNS and DHCP, if required. We leave Macs and IPs as zeros by default, because in our case, the transceiver is connected in loopback mode. For more detailed settings of the stream, you can go to the Detailed Setting menu. All possible stream settings are available in this menu. You can also select additional technologies, such as VLAN. Then the corresponding tab will appear to be able to configure the VLAN setting. Next, configure Sync E, PTP or OAM uh, if required. Go back to Port tab and click on the Link Status box. Clear the history and check that all the required connection parameters are in order. Thus, we have configured the physical interfaces of the instrument. Go to the test window in which you need to configure the testing parameters. In addition to setting the general test parameters, interval length, start stop actions, etc., in the control tab, and the traffic generator operating mode in the generator tab, select how to start traffic when the test is started. We need to configure the stream in the stream profile tab. Select the type of transmitted data, for example, data. Select the behavior of the line log, constant or step change in the given range. Select constant set the line load to 400G. Set the frame size to constant or random with a step. Now we'll leave it at 64. Push the start traffic button. Open the context menu for setting up an intentional error in the transmitted data. Select errors violations. Indicate the type of error, for example, FCC, frame check sequence, and the manual trigger. Now, if you click on the lightning icon, the specified error will occur. Return to the setup window. On the port tab, open the frame capture window. Set the capture and trigger settings. Select the size of the captured part of the frame, the first 64 or 128 bytes or the whole frame. Select to write to the buffer until it's full or continuously overwrite the buffer as it fills up. The buffer size is limited to 1 MB. It is possible to start capturing manually in case of any error or field match, which can be specified below. Set the trigger the appearance of an error. Specify the position of the trigger in the captured frame. It is possible to select a specific type of error at which the frame will be captured. Leave it with any type of error. Press Start and see that the capture does not occur since the condition is not met. There are no errors in the transmitted data. Let's manually add one error that we configured earlier. We see that a frame with an error was captured. Next, click Save and select the directory to save the file in pickup format. Once saved, the pickup file is viewable directly on the instrument. Click Save and View file to go to Wireshark. In this window, we see the Wireshark working screen displaying the captured frames. The table lists all captured frames, as well as basic information about the source, destination, protocol, frame length, 
Additional comments are indicated in the info column. So for example, you can see the first frame has an FCC error. Move on to the details of the first frame and see a detailed description of this error at the Ethernet level. The FCC of the captured frame does not match the calculated expected value. Thus, with the help of 400G frame capture Wireshark, we can analyze the errors that occur in the transmitted data at speeds up to 400G. That is all for today, and if you have any questions, please contact Anritsu. Thanks for watching.